All right, SABC 3's The Next Brand Ambassador is getting closer and closer to finding their three winners to be Cappy Tech's next brand ambassador. Now, the last two weeks has seen a lot of tension and a lot of drama along, amongst the contestants and, of course, the judges. So, ultimately, with the elimination of both Tenille Fredericks and Kitty Mufang. So, let's take a look at some of the last week's boardroom's drama. And when I say drama, I mean drama. <laughs> Output. It's all about the results. It's all about what is being delivered. Based on that, Tanil, for me, you have to be professional no matter what. There is no excuse for acting in a way that jeopardizes the brand that you represent. And because of that, I'm sorry, my dear, you're out. Thank you. Kitty, you are a lot of a magic and there's a lot that you can offer. But it's not just about what you say in the boardroom, it's also about how you make people feel. This event relied on you a lot and you had key areas that you needed to look after. It's unacceptable that there were no welcome drinks when guests arrived. And unfortunately, Kitty, your journey ends here. That show is intense. If you've got any questions for Tanil and Kitty, please head over to our social media pla uh, platforms using the hashtag Afternoon Express. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you for having us. Good to have you back again. Oh. Wow! <laughs> have you been keeping us entertained? Kitty, everybody that has been on this couch before you, yes. that has been eliminated, all of them said that they thought you were going to win. What happened? I think Nandi put such a major um, target on my back with that first episode, naming me the one to win. So I think in, instead of working, people were just working to get me out. Wow. And fine, yeah. I think we all have emotions and competing and living with the people you're competing with was mm. the biggest challenge for me. And I think emotionally, I think I, I just reached my breaking point. And it's these challenges that have gotten you, unfortunately, to this couch and not in the finale. But, Tanil, you kind of looked at Kitty a little weird there when she was speaking about that arrow on her back. How were the challenges like for you? And how did you kind of engage with the drama happening in the house? The drama was always about me. Necessarily, like, everyone made the drama about me. Mm. But I wasn't very dramatic. It's just what I said made people feel like it was dramatic. Mm. And that put a target on my back as well. I feel like everyone was just gunning for each other to get each other out. Wow. And there's a coup, apparently that was yeah. built along the way and it was kind of against you guys and we saw this coup play out in last week's episode yeah uh, I think uh, it was for me it was I was so blindsided we're sitting in the boardroom and all of a sudden Chase does not understand this presentation so uh, it was tough and you could see you could really see um, that people were targeted and you know when you're in the boardroom it's too late mm -hmm. yeah it is what it is at that point <clears throat> and you want to do better but yeah, your time the challenge. Yeah. What an intense environment. Mm. Like, what was the whole experience like for the two of you? It, for me, it was very emotional because I had to step yeah. out of my comfort zone. And also, it was like, I have to be two different kind of people because people saw me as one person, but then I was another person. Mm. But yeah. I had to learn to channel that because I don't love my life based on other people's opinions and they don't pay my bills. So, whatever <laughs> they say, was <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> no. Yeah. No, that is such a crazy dynamic. And as you said, live with your fellow competitors yeah. just makes it kind of like a war zone from the beginning. Yeah. Now that you ladies are here, hindsight, 2020, what would you have done differently? I don't think I would have done anything differently in terms of my work on the show and how assertive I am as a yeah. person because I think in our own personal lives, we've all built ourselves to come to a certain point. Yeah. Um, if it's not part of my journey to be on a next brand ambassador, then it isn't. Um, I can't take care of every single human being's feelings on how strong I am, you know? Yeah. There'll be a platform for me. Yes. And just like everybody else. So moving forward, it's about focusing on self and doing better. Absolutely. So I want to know what moving forward does look like for you. So if you just to remind our audience what you did before the show, did you keep your jobs during the show? And now what's what, what are your answers? What are you going to do? We had to resign because basically we were always shooting like for really? three months. So, so what did you guys do before? Um, I was a public manager yeah. and I was also a brand ambassador for, um, for Radiant Pageants where we like, it was the first pageant in South Africa that allowed teen moms and transgender to be on one stage. Oh, amazing. So also doing charity work, traveling, working for the municipality and yeah. 
Yeah, and I was at the Boys and Girls Clubs of South Africa. It's an NGO, mm. after-school program for kids who go to school, grade yeah. one to matric. Mm. And I'm also an actor and also a part-time student, a netball player, so <laughs> a little bit of everything. <laughs> a little bit of everything. But then, I suppose that's what has shaped you ladies to be the dynamic contestants mm. that we saw play out on the next brand ambassador. I mean, any it's so difficult being the top five yeah. and you have to now say the three people you think would win. But are you willing to name to name them? Yes. Definitely. Oh, okay. definitely. <laughs> who, yes. who do you think is going to win? We definitely programmed to know the names. When they ask for names, you give the names. To me, Mpo, Kevo and Porsche. Stunning. Okay. Yeah. But they deserve to win. You like them? You're happy with them winning? They deserve I, to win. Yeah. Really? I have the same three, but my reasons are I feel like Mpo will be great for the mature market. You know, he's already yeah. working the Mr. My Bank. Kevo is going to be amazing with young people. He's been consistently growing. Mm. He's going to be the new Twitter fra uh, craze. Mm -hmm. He's going to be the trending boy. And, and I feel like Porsche will appeal to every female she's got this calm demeanor and, and and like i do say she has pageant answers but with the miss south africa part of it the mm. brains oh, the beauty so those three for me it's so the lessons beautiful. that you've learned throughout the competition how are you going to use those lessons in your everyday life depending on which avenue you decide to chase to me, keeping quiet is always the best. <laughs> Silence is the best answer. I need to know this is what I need to do. Okay. And also putting the same effort into doing my own work instead of putting effort into doing someone else's work. Because yeah. at the end of the day, they get the credit for things that I do. Yeah. So. Mm. And for me, actually, it's just to remember not to be so personal all the time. Yeah. You're not always going to make friends with the people you work with, but mm. it doesn't mean you're not a good person or that you can't be successful. I mean, some people don't like Bonang, but Bonang is great, you mm. know? Mm. So let's... Um, Everybody likes you know, <laughs> you know, for me, I'm just like, that's the spirit. You keep yeah. going for it. You keep yeah. going for it. And yeah. show highlights. What, have you, what can you say? This is the memory that I'll forever treasure. Ooh. Ooh. Is that a tough oh, one? No, 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 no. For me, actually, it was the Nutribullet campaign. It was the first time I was directing okay. and producing and editing a short one-minute clip. And the lessons I learned... Amazing. Yeah. Mm. Amazing. Very practical, very practical highlight. And for yourself, Tanil? The same challenge, because okay. it's the first challenge me and Kitty worked together, yeah. and it was the first challenge we won together. <laughs> so yeah. it was really amazing. There was no drama that week, and my input was valued, yeah. and yeah. that was really amazing. Future plans, where are you ladies moving on to? Well, I'm being headhunted by a media company, Affiliated Ooh. Media. Wow. And <laughs> I'm also working on a book with From Darkness Into Light author, Raisa Padia, which will do a book with me mm. on, my, on my life, basically, so which will be released next wow. year in June in my birthday. And oh, also, that's going to be a page turner. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, there's going to be a few things <clears throat> in there. But I'm really looking forward to it and also working with Radiant Pageants. Amazing. Yes. Well, congratulations yeah. for making Thank it so you. far. And uh, you really did provide us with much, much enjoyed <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> Be you. sure to catch this week's episode of The Next Brand Ambassador on Thursday night at 7.30pm as the competition is getting closer and closer to nailing down those three winners. Who will end up becoming Capitec's Next Brand Ambassadors? You do not want to miss it. After the break, we chat to model and fitness influencer uh, Saltina, uh, I think yes. it is, Montero. In the next episode, the top six get their hands dirty, working on a corporate social investment project that tackles food insecurity and hunger. But everyone is surprised when a certain someone returns to stir things up. Wow, I did not see this one happening. I'm shook. What's happening here? I mean, I'm excited, but what are you doing here? Catch all the drama on The Next Brand Ambassador. Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. Repeat Saturdays at 2 p.m. on SABC3. Proudly brought to you by Capitec.